Dead Space Ignition is an action puzzle game developed by Visceral Games and Sumo Digital and published by Electronic Arts for the Xbox Live Arcade and the PlayStation Network. It is a follow-up to the third-person shooter video game Dead Space 2, set between the two main games, which was released on October 12, 2010. The game takes the form of what executive producer Steve Papoutsis describes as an interactive comic style game", and is written by Anthony Johnston, the writer of the Dead Space games and comic book series. After completing the game, players will receive bonus items for Dead Space 2, including a hacker-themed suit with 15% armor and 15 inventory slots, as well as a bonus to the hacking portions of the game. Players also receive a hacker-themed contact beam weapon, extra power nodes, health packs, ammunition, and audio logs. These bonuses are found in "...conduit rooms", unlocked with a Dead Space Ignition completed save file. The EA press release outlined the basic plot of Ignition, revealing that the game takes place on the sprawl the setting of Dead Space 2 and challenges players to survive the initial necromorph outbreak", which then sets up the plot of Dead Space 2. Executive producer Steve Papoutsis suggested that the game, the first of a number of related additions to the series, will give Dead Space fans a unique perspective on the events leading up to Dead Space 2, and will also introduce the storyline to a brand new audience of gamers." Dead Space Ignition takes place before the events of Dead Space 2. Plot <laughs> <laughs> An engineer named Franco Delisle the player character and his partner Sarah are called to fix an elevator on the Sprawl, a space station of a shard of Titan, one of Saturn's moons that was planet cracked, only to discover evidence of sabotage. They are then called to fix a computer mainframe, again finding that the damage was intentional. While traveling between jobs, they hear distant screams and investigate, only to encounter people being attacked by grotesque monstrosities dubbed necromorphs. Franco and Sarah escape using the tram. From there on, they are sent across the sprawl in an increasingly desperate attempt to repair station systems and assist other survivors, all the while under attack by necromorphs. Depending on the player's choices, Sarah may be killed by asphyxiation, necromorphs, or by Franco after receiving a coded message, he may be a unitologist. The story ends with Franco reaching the Sprawl Hospital, and reviving the comatose Isaac Clarke, leading up to the opening scene of Dead Space 2. Plot. Dead Space Ignition is a puzzle game and as such features a variety of logical puzzles and puzzles that require dexterity. Reception Ignition received largely negative reviews with many criticizing the comic book style cutscenes, and several gameplay elements. Game Informer gave it a 2. 5 tenths criticizing it for feeling like the next fusion frenzy.